This is my review of the Victorio food strainer. This is one of the handiest things I have ever found. I've already used it for um, juicing, not juicing, straining uh, tomatoes, blackberries. I'm about to do a bunch of grapes. I just picked a bunch of grapes. I picked about two bushels of grapes. I'll show you the grapes. Uh, I'll show you uh, tomatoes and blackberries and um, you're going to be amazed. This is something you're going to want in your house. Victorio food strainer. Here everything is laid out. That's your hopper. Sits on top of it. I'll show you put together but just to show you the individual pieces. The handle crank. It does come with a motor. Uh, an optional motor base if you don't like cranking. I've not found it to be that difficult to crank. But if you uh, are doing a lots and lots of stuff and you want to put a motor on it, it does have an optional motor, and I'll put a link to that below also. That is one of the screens. That is the screen that comes with it, one of the screens that I have. Uh, it's got a spring that goes uh, inside. Uh, this catches the pulp and spits it out into a waiting bowl. That is a spiral that uh, works basically like a meat grinder. Plunger, splatter screen. And then this is the guts of it. This is the, the strainer itself. So, uh, it comes with a, uh, a nice little book of instruction. They've got a website for other things, recipes and, and um, questions and things. Uh, I did buy this strainer accessory and I bought it for two reasons. It's got a grape spiral, which I'll be using for these grapes. It has a salsa screen which lets out, lets through, instead of just juicing, just instead of just having tomato juice, the salsa screen will, um, will let through some of the seeds and some of the pulp and uh, the meat of the tomato and a little bit chunkier. So uh, that's one reason I bought this. This is optional. Uh, it's got a berry screen. I raise blackberries. I did, I used the berry screen. I'll show you that. And it just, it's amazing. It just absolutely spit out all of the seeds and the pulp and, uh, and left me with nothing but blackberry juice, which I made jelly out of. That worked great. Got a pumpkin screen. I don't raise pumpkins, but a pumpkin screen that um, is supposed to do well for pumpkins. That's why they've got it. So this is optional. This is a, an optional uh, box to buy, but if you want to do salsa, if you want to do blackberries, if you want to do grapes, you're going to need this grape spiral. They recommend in the book <clears throat> a grape spiral with the apple, the um, tomato apple uh, screen. Now this would be the screen you use to do just tomatoes if you're doing tomato juice. Okay, it's going to juice it real thin. It's not going to let any of the seeds through. This other one, the salsa screen, as you can see, bigger holes, it's going to let the um, Again, like I said, it's going to let the seeds and some of the, the meat of the tomato through for a little for a chunkier salsa. Uh, so let me put this together and show you what it looks like all set up. Victorio. I like here it. it is all put together. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of play down here. I've got, uh, it's probably inch granite, uh, maybe a little over inch, inch and a quarter. It probably opens up to at least an inch and a half. Uh, so if you've got thicker countertops, should have a plenty plenty of, uh, of room there. Uh, it's got your crank on it. It's got the spiral down in it. I've got the grape spiral in it. This is of course your plunger, hopper. This is where your pulp and seeds and such will come out. The stuff you want to discard will come out here. So you put a bowl here. This is where your juice comes out and this just snaps on. Uh, it's just a, it's just a, they call it a splatter screen because uh, you know you don't want it going everywhere. But your your juice will come out here, so I'll put a bowl here and a bowl here, and uh, let me set up a tripod and see if we can do some grapes. So I'm running grapes through it, and as you can see, it is working. It is very easy to turn, like one, you know, a finger in your thumb. Not a problem at all. Lots of nice grape juice coming out. Here are some blackberries.
as you can see, juicing them nicely. Really not a whole lot of effort to turn this. A kid could do it, a child could do it. Two fingers, basically. And I found <clears throat> with the grapes, it took a little bit more effort. But as you can see, it's juicing it, straining it, excuse me, and all the pulp, all the uh, seeds, vast majority of the seeds, 99 what I have observed, 99% of the seeds are coming out right there. So that's the blackberries. Now let me show you the byproduct, the seeds and the pulp. That is what's left of blackberries when you run them through the Victorio food strain. There's almost not a drop of liquid in it. It gets all the juice. I am absolutely amazed. So what you'll come out with is blackberry juice or apple juice or grape juice, whatever you run through it, fit to um, probably put it in a smoothie, but uh, most people would use it for canning, uh, for making jelly. Okay, that was using the berry screen. As you can see, it's a pretty fine screen. Now I'm going to put the salsa screen in there, bigger holes. It lets uh, a lot more seeds and pulp through when you do tomatoes. Berry screen, salsa screen. Both of these come in the accessory box, not with the Victoria food strainer when you buy just the strainer. It comes with an apple, um, apple screen, some kind of screen. It, it looks close to that, probably could work on that with the berries. But if you want salsa, want a little bit bigger uh, chunks in there, you're going to need to buy the accessory box that has the salsa screen. So now we're going to do some tomatoes. These are just quartered. Now, if you had some big beef steak or something like that, you may have to do a little bit more than just quarter them. They're not blanched. They're not, uh, the skins are still on them, the whole bit. And this is with the salsa screen. So it's allowing some seeds, some pulp. You cut it up a little dicier. If you dice it up a little thinner, probably wouldn't have to plunge it. But again, you can see the pulp coming out. You can see some of the seeds coming out. I hope you can see that. And uh, this is a beautiful thing. If you make salsa and you have to blanch your tomatoes and peel your tomatoes and all that, this will save you a ton of time. Let me see if I can get the camera over here for you. So see. here's the salsa again. It traps. Uh, a lot of the pulp, a lot of the seeds. Now for me this is a little too juicy, a little too watery. So uh, I would drain off, I'd put it you know in something where you could you could take some of the water off the top of it because I like my sauce a little thicker. If you like your sauce a thin this would be perfect for you probably. But I like mine a little thicker so um, this um, this is a little watery for me, so I would I will uh, skim off some of the water off the top of it and put my hot sauce and I mean put my hot peppers in it and onions and whole bit. We got salsa. This saves a ton of time. No peeling, no blanching. Oh my goodness, you need one of these. So the food strainers uh, washed and put in the drying rack. The um, uh, they, they recommend you don't put it in a dishwasher, so I just soaked it 
for just a couple of minutes and uh, everything came out good. Even that, that grape juice came out, uh, you know, there's, there's nothing there. Uh, the only thing that was a little, little more trouble was the screen, of course, all those little fine things. I ran a brush around it and uh, I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see it a little bit better and uh, make sure it's clean. And if, you know, you can go out and run it through water hose or something, run the water hose through it. But uh, I'll probably put it in there and let it soak just a little bit more. That's the only little more difficult part. Everything else just rinsed off real fine. So, uh, man, I highly recommend this. Tomatoes are a dream. No boiling. You know how you boil the tomatoes and drop it in cold water to take the skins off? Forget it. Just quarter the tomatoes and run it through here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you'll love it. You'll love it. You need one. Gonna have a link to it below. Victoria Food Trainer. You won't regret it.